Hey friends, my name is Z and you're watching Z Makes It Easy and welcome to a new video for IGCC at Max and today we have questions for sequence and we look into the rules and examples for sequence last lesson if so if you haven't checked it out just check out my YouTube channel and these questions are from Dr. Force Max or DFM so if you want a PDF you can check it out in the description and before you get into it don't forget to leave a like subscribe and ring the notification bell so you miss out on any future videos and we'll get into question 1. So here we have uh, uh, 7 terms in the quadratic sequence. The nth term of the sequence is n squared plus 2. Find the 50th term in the sequence. So basically um, u n is n squared plus 2. And basically the, the, the 50th term will be u 50 equals 50 squared plus 2. And if you put into a calculator 50 squared plus 2 will be 2, 5, 0, 2. So 2, 5, 0, 2, and that's the answer. 2, 5, 0, 2. And then number 2. Here are the first 6 sums in the Fibonacci sequence. The rule is to that the next sum in the sequence is the sum of 2 previous terms. And the first 3 terms are shown. Find the 6th term in terms of A and B. So we can just use equation or we can just do it up manually to visualize. And I'll, do it up, uh, and I'll like, do it up manually so that you can see what I'm talking about. So the first term is a, the second term is b, the third term is a plus b, and the fourth term will be a plus 2b because you're adding a plus b and, and b. The fifth term will be 2a plus 3b because you're adding this and this. The sixth term will be this plus this, which is 3a plus 5b. And that's basically the answer. 3a plus 5b. Like so, so 3a plus 5b. Oops, 5b. Like so. And question three. At the start of the year, the quant this quantity is uh, of the radioactive metal is p subscript n. And at the start, you have this equation. At the start of 2016, there were 30 grams of the metal. What would be the quantity of the metal at the start of 2019? So we have Pn plus 1 right here, 0 0.87 Pn. So we're trying to find the st at the start of 2019, which is 3 years after the 2016. So it's going to n plus 3 right here, 0 0.87. And it will be this, and I'll show you why. Because the n, this, in this case, would be 2016. So this right here is P2016, which is 30, as we see this out here. And in this origin equation, you can see that every year, it's times by 0 0.87 cube. So for every year of growth, the 30 gram times, you have to times it by 0 0.87. So the first year is 30 times 0 0.87. The second year is 30 times 0 0.87 times 0 0.87, and so on until how many, how, uh, however many years you want. So we want 3 years after 2016, which is basically 0 0.87 cube times 30 which will get 19 point something where you have to round up to get 20 grams. So it'll be 20 grams. And question number four, we have the width of the ship. Number one is three squared, then number two is four squared, and number three, uh, number three is five squares. And the width of the ship is W squares. So write down the formula of W in terms of, I assume it's in terms of N, so we have shape number one is three, shape number two is four, and shape number three is five. As you can see, they are all increasing uh, in a constant rate. They are all increasing by one at every term. So you can just see that it's basically, and this is the first term, and this is the second term, and this is the third term. And you can see how they relate. It's always a plus two right here. So the first term plus two is three, the second term plus two is four, the third term plus, five, uh, plus 2 is 5. So basically the amount, the width of the block, width, is the nth term plus 2. Right, so, n plus 2. And n basically means the nth term. And in the first term, n is 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. So the width is 3 blocks. Right, so on. Then we have question 5. Write down the expression in terms of n for the nth term of the number sequence. And so we can just look at the different, like the, um, the difference between the numbers. 3 plus 7 is 4, 4, 4. 
So it's um, an arithmetic sequence. So arithmetic is u n a plus n minus one d. The a the first term is three plus n minus one. The difference is four. Right, so if you expand it, it will be three plus four n minus four. And if you simplify it, it will be four n plus three minus four, which is just minus one. So it'll be four n minus one, and that's the answer. 4n minus 1. The number 6 we have here are the first 5 terms of a number sequence. So we can just notice it's basically plus 3 as well, plus 3, 3 is 3. So it's an arithmetic sequence, un equals a plus n minus 1d. So the a, the first term is minus 4, n minus 1, and it's just n, d is 3. So you just expand the bracket to get minus 4 plus 3n minus 3. And if you simplify this, it will be the 3n which is remain as 3n. And minus 4 minus 7 will be minus, sorry, minus 4 minus 3 will be minus 7. Right, so, and that's the answer. 3n minus 7. And question 7. Here are the first four terms of an arithmetic sequence. The nth term of the formula is 4n plus 1. Write down an, an expression in terms of, um, I assume it's in terms of n, for the n plus 1 term. So what this means is that it's basically you have to write the term for like the difference between two terms, like write the expression in terms of n for the n plus 1 term. So we already have this sequence right here, which, which is quite nice. So when n is 1, it's 5. When n is 2, it's 9. So you can see the difference between 5 and 9 and others. Are plus 4. So the n plus 1 term is basically the, the n term right here plus the difference between two terms which is plus 4 which is basically 4n plus 5 and that's the answer it's quite straightforward so 4n plus 5 then we have question 8 here are the first five terms in an arithmetic sequence the n term is 4n plus 15 the last term of each sequence is the same number, and they are the same number of terms of in each sequence. Find the number of terms in each sequence. So what we first do is that we have to find the arithmetic sequence for this right here. And basically the difference is 5, so it will be 5n minus 3. Like so. So you have the first sequence of 5n minus 3, and you have the second sequence of 4n minus, uh, 4n plus 15. You need to find the end where they both are the same because the last term of each sequence is the same number. So in both terms, you have to, you have to equate them to find the end where they're both equal. So it will be 5n, oops, it will be 5n minus 3 equals 4n plus 15. And just simplify it, like you minus both sides by n, uh, 4n and plus both sides by 3, you get n equals 18. And that's the final answer. The number of terms in the sequence is 18 because the last term is also like the same number. Then question 9, here are the first 5 terms in the number sequence. A deal says that 319 is a term in the sequence, is he correct? So let's just find the sequence for this. It's a arithmetic sequence because it passed by 4, so it's basically 4n minus 1. So we have the nth term, uh, the, the sequence, 4n minus 1. You just equate it to 319 to find what term 319 is in. So it'll be 4n equals 320. And therefore, n is 18. So n is a whole number, that means it is a, a number in the sequence. So QED, that means yes, it's in the sequence. It's in the sequence right here like so then question 10 here are the first five numbers in the sequence like this Sarah says that minus minus 100 is not a number in the sequence is she correct so let's just find the sequence right here it's a minus five minus sorry minus six minus six minus six so it will be a from the seven plus n minus one minus 6, so it would be 47 minus 6n plus 6, which 47 plus 6, you get 53 minus 6n. 
So we'll do 53 minus 6n equals minus 100. And just rearrange it to get 153 divided by 6n. And if you divide 153 divided by 6, you will get a fraction of 25.5. That means that minus 100 is not a number in this sequence. That means Sarah, oops, that means Sarah is right because because minus 100 is not in the sequence because the n is not the whole number. Then we have question 11. Here are the first four terms in the number sequence and here are the first five terms in another number sequence. So find the two numbers that are both in the number sequence. So just look at the first term, the first sequence first. You can see that they, um, it's basically alternating 2 and 7. So that 2, 7, 12, 17. That means it would be 22, 27, 32. 37 up until like say 42, 47, 52, 57, and 62. And here you have to just find the sequence. So it will be minus a plus n minus 1. D is basically 3. So this would be minus 4 equals 3, 9, minus 3. Oops, minus 4 plus, sorry, minus 4 plus. 3, 9, minus 3, which is minus 7 plus 3n. So let's just put uh, each number into the sequence, and I already have my answer, so I'll just skip through some numbers. So minus 7 plus 3n. If you equate this to, let's see the answers. If you equate this to 17, it'll be a factor. If you equate this to 22, it will not be a factor. And basically just do trial and error for different numbers and you'll have a list of numbers where the list of numbers are uh, find the two numbers that are both in the number sequence are 2, 17, 32, 47, and 62 and that's basically the answers. So 2, 17, 32, 47, and 62. And question 12 here are the first four terms in the quadratic sequence. Find an expression of the nth term. So here's a quadratic, or like a quadratic sequence, and you might have learned this in case three. So 3, 8, 15, 24. Each term it's plus 5, plus um, 7, and plus 9. Like so. And between each term is plus 2. Like between, between each plus term, it's a plus 2. So that means that number divide by two, sorry, divide by two or times one over two will be the coefficient for n squared. So it'll be n squared because it's basically two times one over two n squared plus a n plus b right here. So basically the coefficient for n squared in this case will be one. So it will be n squared. So let's just write a, a list of values for n squared right here. So n squared is 1, 4, 9, and 16. And you can do this for each different terms. It's a plus 2, plus 4, plus 6, plus 8. And that number, let's just look at the first value of this right here. You can know that it's a plus, you have to times n plus uh, time by 2. Because basically, um, let's say this a few times. Uh, 2, which is the n, by 2, you get plus 4. And if you time the n right here, the n is 3, in this case, the third term. By 2, you get 6, and so on. So n squared pl uh, plus 2n, it's the sequence for the quadratic sequence. So that's the answer, n squared plus 2n, right here. So n squared plus 2n. Now question 13. Here are the first factors in the quadratic series right here. So find an expression in terms of n. So 1, 3, 7, 13, 21. So between them is plus 2, plus 4, blah, 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 blah. And between them is plus 2. You have the value, that means it's an n squared. And if you just read it, let's drop it out. Write the n squared value for each term. Be 1, 4, oops, 1. 4, 9, 16, 25. 
and you notice it's basically plus zero minus one minus two minus three minus four so it's basically like going minus like uh, going smaller and smaller and smaller for the like the difference between n squared to the original equation so we'll just involve using uh, we'll just straight away use a n plus b this format so we need it for n equals one the product will be zero so the, the way it could be is that you can do like minus n plus 1 or minus 2n plus 2 and so on. And in this case, if you put minus n plus 1, for the second term, minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. For the third term where n is 3, minus um, 3 plus 1 is minus 2 and that's correct. Therefore, it's minus n plus 1 right here. So the answer is just n squared minus n plus 1 squared minus n plus 1 like so. In question 14, the first five terms of a sequence is shown. We're along as an expression. So we have minus 1, 2, 9, 20, 35. You plus 3, plus 7, plus 11. And that's plus 4, plus 4. Like so. And that you have to divide by 2, which gives us 2 and squared. Then now let's write our values for 2, 1 squared right here. So it'll be 2, 8, 18, and 15. Sorry. And uh, 32. Like so. And if you look at the different, like, the, 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 um, the difference, you will see that 2 to minus 1, it's minus 3. Then minus 6. Minus 9. It's going down by 3 for every term, so it's basically minus 3n. And let's just check, for when n is 2, it will be minus 6 because minus 3 times 2. For n is 3, it will be minus 3 times 3 which is minus 9 as, show, as we showed here just now. So that's the answer, 2n squared minus 3n and so. And for the last question, we have this diagram shows the first 10 sets of a spiral pattern and it gives the uh, the length in cm for 5 sides. Find an expression for the spiral of the sequence. So we just write everything out so that it's clearer. 1.5, 3, 5.5, 9 and so on. And this is basically plus 1.5, plus 2.5, plus 3.5. And each between them is plus 1, plus 1. And then to do plus 1 divided by 2, which is 0 0.5 n squared. And this is where that all the values for 0 0.5 n squared. So 0 0.5 n squared, the first term will be 0 0.5. The second term will be 1.5. Sorry, the second term will be 2. And so on, because it's, it gets quite um, a weird number. So as you can see, from this to this, you have a constant term of plus 1, a constant term of plus 1. So using this logic, this should be 4.5 and this should be 8 because it's, it's a constant plus 1. That means a constant term has no n to it, so it'll be 0 0.5 n squared plus 1. And that's the final answer. Right here, 0 0.5 n squared plus 1. And oops, let's just rewrite the 0. 0 0.5 n squared plus 1 and that's it. And that's it for this question's video for sequence. And I hope you'll find it useful and helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you miss out on any future videos. And if you have any comments or contrasting feedback on my channel or my videos or my like, other things, just show them in the comment section and, and I'll reply to them. And check my social media in the description, for example, LinkedIn or YouTube or Instagram. And if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources, you can check it out on my website in the description. Or you can type it out on your browser at www.umisteasy.com And I hope you'll find it useful and helpful and I'll see you all in the next video which will be rules and examples for circular measure which will be quite interesting. But until then, stay safe and happy learning.